I had always looked at the medical applications of my work, of using this laser to uh, provide holographic images of cells or even molecules. It could have helped us solve so many puzzles, even the formation of cancer cells. But what really happened was that a more sophisticated version of my idea was being used in the Star Wars program. And it blew my mind. It, it made me reevaluate my whole profession. Anyway, to, to cut it short, in the midst of other events, I just got up and left. What were the other events, if I may ask? Experience is not all that different from yours, I suppose. I left Boston, and eventually I came here. I just came one day from uh, Paris, and the place took hold of me. I kept coming back. Well, there were weeks here when the storms chased the tourists away, and, and I had this place all to myself. I started to look at how my special knowledge of subatomic physics relates to the way I perceive the world at large. And I don't know, but I think that I have something to say after my time here. I don't know yet if it will fit into a coherent whole, but this is what I think about when I take my morning walks, which today, for some reason, brought me to you two. See, every morning I, I walk across the island, regardless of the weather, trying to Understand, it's other language. The stones speak, and I am silent. Something like that, yes. That's from a poem, isn't it? Well, maybe, I don't know, you know. Uh, do you ever write down any of your thoughts? Oh, yes, all the time. I'd like to combine my notes into a book and call it ecological thinking, as opposed to Cartesian thinking. Cartesian? Yeah, Descartes wrote in Latin. His Latin name was Cartesius, hence Cartesian. Really? I thought it meant map-like, like a map. <laughs> no, you didn't. You thought it meant like a la carte. Yes, like a menu. <laughs> then his name would have been Menusian. I'd like to offer this ecological way of thinking as a new way of looking at things. Help us overcome this crisis of perception. See, what I found here is that to think in an ecological way simply makes more sense of everything. It gives me a much firmer grasp of reality. It gives me strength. Knowledge is power. Yes, but in the sense of personal empowerment, not that old male urge for power over others. Descartes' evil empire again. Descartes had a dream. It was really Isaac Newton who made that dream come true who transformed it into scientific theory, into power. May God ask keep from single vision in Newton's sleep, William Blake. I'm very impressed. No, you two would have a lot in common. You'd have a lot to talk about. He was writing in poetry 200 years ago, what you're saying today in prose. He hated Newton. He hated this concept of single vision. He dedicated his entire life to making art that denied single vision. Of course, of course, the people of his time thought he was a crank. Hmm. Whereas they revered Newton almost as a god by reducing all physical phenomena to the motion of material particles, the motion caused by the force of gravity, he was able to describe the exact effect of gravity on any object with precise mathematical equations. We call it Newton's laws of motion. Really the great achievement of 17th century science. You mean all that stuff that I slept through in high school, like any good poet, all that square root of the hypotenuse divided by a pinch of magnesium, all that stuff? Well, in the right hand, so should I say, aroused minds, these equations seem to work beautifully. I could use Newton's equations to calculate and explain every motion of that throw, from the ballistic curve to the ripples in the water. See, this was a feat so impressive for the time that Newton's mathematical system immediately established itself as the correct theory of reality, the ultimate laws of nature. Descartes' dream of the world as a perfect machine was now an established fact. It brought with it such a 
wealth of benefits for people. People could do things they'd never been able to do before. It was irresistible. And of course, the old notions of the world as a living organism was swept away. So what's wrong with Newton? Kit. Well, this is my daughter Kit and our friend Roman. Kit, this is uh, Thomas Harriman. How you uh, do? And this is Jack... Um... Jack Edwards. Yeah, Jack Edwards. Nice to Hi. Meet you. Hi. What do you think of this new ecological view of your mother's? That's okay. Kate yeah. is utterly bored hearing me talk about it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're gonna uh, go. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting yes, you. Yes, nice meeting you. See you later. Have fun. See you later. Oh, so she's living here with you? No, she's in her first year in college. She's on a break. But right now, yes, I think she's utterly bored living here with me. I understand that I have two of my own. Yeah, I had, I mean, I have uh, one. You know, it's no accident that Turner painted light when he did, or that light became the inspiration of the Impressionists. The nature of light became an obsession with the physicists, too. See, none of them could visualize how the light of the sun reached the Earth. Why? What is the nature of light? To understand the nature of light, you have to know what matter is made of. I thought it was made of atoms. What's an atom? Well, Newton thought it was small, solid particles. But that's not what scientists saw when they observed atoms for the first time. What they saw was totally unexpected and shocking. You mean when they discovered that atoms were made up of even smaller particles, a nucleus with uh, electrons whirling around it? Not only that. They were moving in relatively vast regions of empty space. That's what shocked the scientists up. Atoms consist mainly of empty space. What does that mean, vast regions of empty space? Atoms are tiny. Yes, they are. This is what's so hard to visualize. See, the size of atoms is so far removed from our ordinary sense of scale and proportion that it's extremely hard to get a feeling for the relative sizes and distances of their particles. Ask yourself, how many atoms are there in an orange? Now, to answer this, you'll have to blow up the orange to a size where you can actually see the atoms. You'll have to blow up the orange until it's reached the size of the Earth. The atoms inside of it will then be the size of cherries. Myriads of cherries tightly packed into an orange the size of the Earth. Wow, what an image. <laughs> I'm serious. I was trying to shrink the earth orange back down into the size of an orange and imagine all those cherries whizzing around inside of it made me dizzy. This is a dangerous height to be dizzy at. But okay, you say that uh, the atom is the size of a cherry and that uh, in that cherry atom there's all this empty space. Well, what about the nucleus? There is a nucleus in there, right? I mean, how big is that? That's where we're going here, isn't it? Invisible is the answer. If we blow up the atom to the size of a football, the nucleus would still be invisible. If we blow up the atom to the size of a, a sphere that would fit into this room here, the nucleus would still be invisible. What if you blow it up to the size of this island, to the size of the rock we're standing on? Okay. We would blow the atom, the cherry, up to the size of this island. Okay, then the nucleus would be the size of a small pebble. Something like that. And the electrons would be much smaller still. We would have to look for them all the way down there at the edge of the island. And the whole space in between would be empty. Wow, that's fantastic. It's weird to seem weird in poetry. So what you're saying is that if there were a sphere large enough to contain this whole island, what it would actually consist of is a pebble and a few grains of sand. That's all this huge sphere contains. In other words, nothing. It's empty. But if this rock is made up of spheres like that, then 
Then what makes it so solid? Why can't I pass my hand through it? Why don't we fall through it? Yeah, why don't we fall through everything? Why doesn't everything fall through everything? Well, you see, this is the obvious question that physicists had to 